Hi, I'm Dave Hodgson and welcome once again to Weekly Wind-Up. Local music, I've been passionately interested in it all my life, both listening and recording all genres. That's since I was knee-high to a grasshopper in my BBC days, I can tell you. How refreshing it is then to hear of one of the most popular concerts, Bridgefest, is happening again this year. But with one major change, let's find out what that change is. And welcome from Bridgefest, Tracy Andrews. Tracy, it, it's big news, isn't it? Because it's bigger. It is, yes, lovely, yeah. We've been a small event in Bailiff Bridge for two years and we needed to attract a bigger crowd, a wider range of people. So we're now going to Brighouse Sports Club. And that uh, will take more people, will it? Yes, oh gosh, yeah, it can take yeah. up to 3,000 people. That, right, well... You've got then a bit of a problem because if all your big fans from around the Bailiff Bridge area and things like that, it, it can't get there. But you've even thought of that, haven't you? We have. We've arranged a free minibus for them from Bailiff Bridge for three pickups and from Brig House for three pickups as well, just to bring them to yeah. the event. They don't have to win a lottery to get a no, ticket back. No, 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 no. As long as they come into the event, yeah. they can get on the bus, mini, free minibus. Yeah. How much time does it take you and your rather small team as you want to be to point out to organize because it isn't just music is it you've got other forms of entertainment haven't you and other activities we have yes um from last year's bridge fest we pre-booked some of the bands just for this year because bands get booked up so quickly same with the stalls but I would say from January of this year, I've been confirming all the bookings for the bands, the musicians, the stall holders, booking all the posters and ordering wristbands. And, and, and trying to get on with life in general when you've as well got as that, the yeah. odd three minutes in any day yes, to do it, I suppose. Yes, it takes quite a lot of time, even I, making phone calls. Well, it does because <laughs> the person you want to speak to is never there. No. You've got to ring back. Yes. And still not there. Yes. Will you get them to ring me? Yes, I will. Nothing happens. <laughs> No, that's very true, it's, they don't. It's the, way, yes. it's the way of the world, isn't it? Yes. Uh, preview of the bands and what you've got. You've, you've the, the stalls that you know you've got coming. Yes. Oh, uh, ju just a sample of it, because, I mean, the number of bands you've got is, is quite phenomenal. Uh, give us a few and, and what stalls you'll have there. Okay. We've got a couple of acoustics. One of them is a Jess Thriston, and we have five bands that are playing. One from Keith Cole called Foxes 4. Um, you can find all the details on our Facebook page yeah, yeah. and YouTube. Uh, we have face painting, we have sweet stall, we have tombola, lucky dip, that sort of thing. So, not short of things to do for the afternoon. Definitely not. <laughs> and our, our stalls are increasing as we've promoted the event more yeah. now. More people want a stall. Is there food there or do you invite? Yes, there are. Yeah. Um, the sports club themselves were running a food stall, maybe a barbecue pie and peas, uh, they will have a beer tent also, and yeah. they, they run a bar. Mm, a certain amount of gear is permissible to bring with you, but some items are not. Could you explain what they are and why? Yes, we don't allow m the public to bring their own alcohol just to do the fact that we've got a beer tent and a bar, and you never know who's bringing what, no disrespect to them. Um, but it, people can bring a picnic blanket to sit on, a chair to sit on, but we will provide some chairs for them to sit on as well. you thought of everything, haven't you? We Apart have, Apart yes. from what happens if it rains? Well, you can't predict the weather, but for two years it hasn't, but people can stand under the marquees and the gazebos, and yeah. most hardy people that go to concerts don't, don't, don't bother about a bit of rain. <laughs> uh, you're also trying to break out into filming, I, I, I believe, and that's this event coming up, but you need a bit of help, don't you? We do, yes. Um, do you think uh, Kirkley's local TV might like to come along? I can't answer that question <laughs> for you, but you know the people he, the, the, yes. he, uh, the people who run KLTV, yes. and I'm sure a, a word in their ear might help. Yes, we do have a photographer on the day, but yes, breaking into filming and getting a local TV. Do, do your own woodstock, in fact. Oh, mm. then you're not, you're not old enough to remember that, are you? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> uh, can you get, uh, I'm tempted to say tickets, but it's wristbands, isn't it, for yes. this, uh, in advance and on the day? Yes, they can. We have um, local sh uh, businesses, um, the booty shed in Bailiff Bridge, um, Simply Sweets in Brighouse, and a few more that are selling 
advanced tickets. They can ring the number on the page, which is my hotline number, or we can even get posted out to people. Mm. You're putting on buses, but is car parking... There is easier? limited car parking. Limited, right. It What's will be that? all police. First, first come, first served. Yes, yeah. realistically, yeah. yeah. We're hoping most people will walk or <laughs> get on the minibus. Would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be lovely. <laughs> A lovely day. So... How long is it going to be before you start in to look at next year's Bridge Fest? As soon as this one's in finished or in the swing of the day, yeah. then we will be booking the bands for next year, booking the stalls for next year, getting any advertisers that we've got this year to do it again next year. Get the plugs in again. Where, <laughs> when, how, what, why? Okay. Bridge Fest, Saturday the 27th of May at Brig House Sports Club in Brig House, half past 12 till 8 o'clock come along it's a family event local support local mm. stay as long as you like till eight o'clock yeah. and maybe a little bit later i think i understand what you mean depends what I... time we kick everybody off the field <laughs> they tell me you even organize other things how on earth do you find time uh, it's something i'm very passionate about i seem to love we've done car boots yeah. christmas markets we've even booked for december for father christmas to come to bailiff bridge so it's wow. lots of planning. You must have a direct line. <laughs> I'm very important to Father Christmas. <laughs> I do understand. So, Tracy, I, I know more about Bridge Fest now than I did before meeting you. Thank you very much Thank for taking you. time out to come on KLTV's Weekly Wind-Up. And thanks also to our crew for producing it. Dave Hodgson, see you again soon and stay lucky.